What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, check the season is upon us. So once again, season's gonna begin and the fun's gonna start. I hope you guys are as excited as I am with all this. Uh, Cause I look forward to the beginning of the season every year. At the end of the season, um, it gets, it becomes, a little hectic for me, I guess you could say, but then at the same time, it isn't. And then once scout season opens up, it calms down. I kind of settle back down and do my thing. Uh, this year, it's gonna be just like last year. A lot of scouting, a lot of hunting, a lot of fun. So uh, tag along, have some fun with me, and uh, let's let's uh, have a great season together, guys. I'm gonna just keep hiking until I get to the back. And uh, I'll see you guys in the canyon. Oh, yes. This, I gotta show you guys. You guys see this? The pigs are back. They are back. <laughs> tore this place up. It's all tore up. And of course, today being the one day, I don't bring my gun or my bow. I mean, I typically don't bring my gun on this unit. I only bring my bow, but I didn't bring my, my bow today. Uh, I'm not here hunting, so I didn't plan on bringing it. But yeah, the pigs rooted this whole thing up. I don't know if you guys watched any of my videos last year, but uh, the pigs were not even here. And the year before, they were not here either. So this is new. All right, that's good. That's always good. You guys know what that is? It's a big old pig track. Look at that. That thing's huge. Right next to it, I got my tom traps. So that's good. I got turkeys and pigs here. Off to a good start. That actually looks really fresh. I mean, that's me. These looks really fresh. Oh, my water bottle just fell. Huh. This should look out for pigs and turkeys right now. Hmm. Anyways, so generally when you see those big old tracks like that, it's uh, just one pig. It's usually just a, uh, a big boar by itself. But I saw some little baby tracks too, so it might be like, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be a boar and a sow with some babies because I'm seeing a bunch of little take a little track with it, so. All right. I just wanna see some turkey dragging. It's a bunch of, uh, it's a bunch of pig rooting. I haven't seen any turkey drags, but I've seen a lot of pig tracks, so I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to be quiet. Hopefully I run into the pigs. I mean, it wouldn't matter if I ran into the pigs in right? Because I don't got my gun or my boat. But it'd, be, it'd just be cool to see them. But yeah, I'm willing to bet that that is probably like parent pigs and a bunch of piglets. I'm almost to the back of the canyon now. Um, I got here kind of late. I got here like around two, and it's like basically the last hour. Uh, I'm here, I'm trying to find them and, and see if they're here pre-shooting light because uh, as you guys know, tricky season, it closes off at 5, so I'm trying to see if I find them before finding them. And uh, I'm making my way to the canyon and hopefully I get to the canyon for 5 p.m. around there so that I know if I can catch them on the way back or not. But yeah, I've been calling and I haven't heard anything, but there's that one set of tricky tracks. So I got that to look forward to. They got this kind of pig. As you guys can see, this is perfect tricky habitat. This cotton has open fields. Not even open fields, just open plains. And it's what the trickies like to hang out in. You can count on that. So look at that tree. Perfect place for the pig to hang out. But yeah, now I'm just cutting back to where I can get back to the car. 
I'm done. It's like five something now. I got like a mile and a half to walk to get to the car. I'm making my way out of the canyon. Still expecting to see something on the way out. We'll see. It is coming close to last light, so I might get lucky. I think that by the time I get out of here, it'll be kind of dark already, so. Get out of this canyon. I freaking knew it. I knew I would run into these pigs. They're right there. They're only like 60, 70 yards away, maybe even less. <laughs> I freaking knew it. The one day I don't bring my weapon to hunt these guys. Well, guys, that's how it goes sometimes. Some people just have the luck, you know? They, they go out and bam, there's the pigs. But yeah, man, sometimes people just has the luck. They'll come out and they'll see pigs and just like that, the pigs show up and they take off. You have your gun, you get to shoot them. For, unfortunately for me today, I didn't expect to see pigs on this unit. I haven't seen them in a while. So cool to see. Um, anyways, guys, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that little pig run. I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm going to cap this video off here. As you can see, it's getting a little dark. So I got to make my way back to the car. I imagine by the time I get to the car, it's going to be dark already because, as you can see, it's a little dark. Uh, I'm excited. Very excited for this coming season. I cannot wait to see what happens. Uh, unfortunately for that badger, he's actually right under a tree that the turkeys like to hang out in, and they roost in, so I'd imagine he's probably going to get pushed out pretty soon, pretty quickly, simply because there's going to be a lot of hunting pressure, and he's going to... And he's not going to like it. I still see cows. I keep thinking that those are pigs, but I haven't seen much since I saw those little guys run off. I've seen little blacks scattered here and there, but I think they're just cows. Yep, just cows. More cows. I see some more over there. Just more cows. So when I saw those pigs, I knew right away they were pigs because of uh, how small they were and those little brown things. I, I knew right away. What is that? It's nothing. <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty cool. Didn't see any deer. Didn't see any turkey. Saw pigs. And the badger. So. Anyways, guys, like I said, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button for me. Um, again, I got Black Tail Itch merch. If you guys want some, I don't know how much I have left. I think I only have a couple hats left. Um, the new design actually turned out really well. It sold out really quick. I still have a bunch of oranges if you guys um, need Hunter Orange. Uh, but yeah, I still got this one and I have a few other ones. I don't have much left anymore. Um, as soon as I get more hats in, I'll update you guys though. So, if you guys want to grab yourself some Black Tail Itch merch, go ahead and check out the link in my description. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Time to make the hike out of here.
Back to the trail. I hear turkeys. Yep, I hear turkeys. Yep, there. The coyotes are howling and the turkeys are gobbling. <laughs> Sweet. Mission success. I'm gonna see if I go catch them coming in. Out of battery. You know what? I'm gonna switch to this because I know I remember my camera has a weird like it's recording kind of funky. It's got this loud sound to it when I'm recording sound. So I'm gonna switch to this, um, which means it won't have a tripod or anything. But I'll just vlog with this because I, I might be able to pick up the turkey calls from this. I'm sure of it. So I'm gonna turn you guys off. If I see turkeys, I'll zoom in with this because this could zoom in. But I hear the turkeys for sure. There's a couple of top turkeys gobbling. I'm going to get to the little trail and make them my way over there. Hopefully I catch them coming in. That'd be cool if I can. I'll see you guys in a little bit. They're coming back up the, the canyon. canyon. I just came out of the canyon. <laughs> This one right there flying. It's about to roost. Uh, oh, right there. It just roosted in that tree. <laughs> I think it roosted in that tree. It might have roosted somewhere else. Let me check out those trees. Right, let's see if I can find them. I want to see if you guys, I want to get one on camera so you guys can see them. I hope they are not in the trees yet. I feel like they might be, so. I literally just climbed out of the roof, out of the uh, canyon. They weren't responding to calls. Man, those turkeys are fast. I heard them this way. I literally just turned off the camera and then it's gobbling right here. And this is a different gobbler. Roosted right there in the canyon. I knew it. They absolutely were not respond to my turkey call. And then uh, I, I was losing hope. I was like, no more turkeys. I think the turkeys are done. And then the uh, coyotes went off. They started howling. And I started hearing turkeys all over, like gobbling after me. Went after them. Oh man, this is so cool. I cannot wait. I'm glad to know there's at least three gobblers. I got three different gobblers gobbling at me. That's awesome. Um, I hope that this camera caught the sound. I doubt it because the other day when I was using it, it was recording a lot of static. I don't know why. I think it, it needs, I might need to run my mic now from now on with this camera. So anyways, that was so cool. Um, turkey set turkey scout success i was able to get some turkeys to go back and they were exactly where i thought they would be so i imagine in the morning it's probably gonna be a little bit better than this because uh typically they're roosted off the canyon and they fly into the and then they fly into the canyon but that sounds like the turkeys that they might be right on the edge of the canyon so yes that was awesome anyways guys i know already comes out the video but i'll close it out again uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm so glad that I was able to find some, 
weeks on Turkey. So yeah, peace out. Make sure you guys tag along and we'll see who shoots these turkeys.